One fine Tuesday morning, like we always do, I went into the Tesla website like this. And like we always do, I clicked on Tesla Model Y and I clicked on order now and I chose my location, New South Wales, and I always do a business registration. When I hit on continue, I am super surprised to see this. What the? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is National Tesla Gong. A new entry has dropped into a Tesla Model Y page and we're gonna see all about that. So as you can see, the dual motor all wheel drive now has the Model Y long range, which starts at 81,900 with a drive away price of 88,370. We're gonna see all about that in this particular video. And also in light of this particular model dropping, I am going to revisit my Tesla Model Y performance order which is due for delivery on the 15th of April, as you probably saw in my video, but we're gonna see if we are going to change it at all. And you will be super surprised to the conclusions that I've come to and why I came to that conclusion. So stay with me till the entire video and see what this is all about. Right yo, now before I go into showing you all about this Tesla Model Y long range, I wanted to uh, look at this particular learn more page. When you click on this, here in New South Wales, you'll see that are the rebates for each state. These are the state incentives in New South Wales. The New South Wales government offers a rebate of $3,000 for new electric vehicles, which are sub 68,750, including GST. So we won't get that for the Model Y. A stamp duty exemption for new and used electric vehicles with a subtotal of 78,000 including GST, and we won't get that either because as you saw, our car will be 88,000. So these two we won't get. But why do I point this is because there are two other things that we always have to look out for when we buy a Tesla, and that one is this, the luxury car tax. The luxury car tax for any uh, fuel efficient vehicle like an EV that we're going to buy for 2022-23, the cutoff value is 84,916. So if your car is sub 84,916, then you will not be uh, paying this 33% luxury car tax. So that is something to remember. And why this is important is, as you remember, I clicked on a business account for myself to buy this car. And why this is important to know the LCT is, this one thing, this is called the electric cars exemption of fringe benefits tax and that is important to consider when you're making a purchase through a business account now in this case the eligibility criteria is you do not pay fbt or fringe benefit tax if you pro if you provide private use of an electric car that meets all the following conditions the car is a zero or low emissions vehicle the first time the car is both held and used is on and or after 1st of July 2022. The car is used by a current employee or the associate such as a family member. And the most important thing, the luxury car tax has never been payable on the importation or the sale of the car. And that is important. So if you buy a car which does not have a luxury car tax and you buy it through a business account, you do not have to pay the fringe benefits tax. And that is important while making the decision. And now let's go back to the Tesla page and see what is in store for us in this Model Y long range. Now, let's see. Model Y long range has a range of 533 kilometers WLTP, a speed of 217 kilometers per hour, and zero to 100 kilometers per hour of five seconds. I believe this can be improved by an acceleration boost, which can be bought after the fact from inside your Tesla app. So that is important to remember. Now, the one below that is the rear wheel drive. The rear wheel drive has 455 kilometers of WLTP range for 100%, whereas the long range will have 533. So that is a good uh, 75 odd kilometers more. That is something to remember. Now the one above that is the performance Model Y 
only has 514 so it has lesser range but you get the 0 to 100 kilometers of an hour at 3.7 seconds so if this is something which you do not really use we probably won't use this in my particular case i am starting to get inclined to look at the long range model y now this long range model y as we said has a drive away price of 88 370 and that falls just about 84916 but in this case because the actual base price of the car and we'll come to that in just a bit will be below this number we may not have to pay the luxury car tax let's do the configuration in just a bit before that let's go down so if you increase the price with some color options 1500 aussie dollars for the black gray and the blue the car will be 90,035 drive away in new south wales and the red multi-coat paint will up you by 2400 aussie dollars so the drive away price will be 91,265. now if let's keep it at white and you can now improve the tire options or the wheel options if the 19 inch gemini wheels is not something that you want to look at you can up it to a good looking 20 inch induction wheels and that will increase the cost by 2700 sorry 2400 australian dollars now let's keep it at 19 i must say the the black induction wheels do look quite gorgeous let's keep it at 19 and if you don't want the black interiors you can get the black and white interiors that's a two-tone finish and that will be a 1500 extra that you have to pay and you only have a five-seater option you can add the other things like the enhanced autopilot which is five thousand one hundred dollars or the full self-driving capability which is ten thousand one hundred dollars at this time you can always buy both of these after the fact but if you want insurance to cover these you do have to put them up front but then that will push up the cost of the car now this is where my decision making comes in let's see what that is i'm going to bring it all to the base version so this is the long range tesla model y with 19 inches gemini wheels black interiors without enhanced autopilot and without self-driving capability this is 88370 but if i go in and click on continue you'll see the breakdown over here let's click on show details you will see that the luxury car tax has not been added here i'm going to show you the difference in just a bit you see that that is because the vehicle's subtotal is 83700 which is sub 84916 super strategic of tesla to price it like this and that gives you a zero luxury car tax now let's do a quick check let's go back and change this order let's edit the design and instead of white all you do is add a color and now when you go into continue to pay you'll see show details you'll see the luxury car tax of 85 dollars has been added you'll think oh it's only 85 dollars but then this 85 dollars will actually negate this particular clause of your fringe benefits tax exemption and that cannot be applied because you have now paid a luxury car tax so any upgrades that you want to do you will lose the fbt exemption and you will add an lct onto your car so that is important to remember now what has uh, prompted me uh, to make a decision with regards to my performance tesla model y well <laughs> this particular instance has sort of tipped me in favor of getting a white tesla model y long range with 19 inches gemini wheels and a black interior at this time now this is important because the red tesla model y performance that i had ordered is 111,600 australian dollars drive away here in new south wales so with a drive away price of 88,370 i save 
a handsome chunk of change. Now this handsome chunk of change can be used for a few important things. I am going to look at completely changing the exterior of my car by adding a vinyl look and I can choose any color that I want. That is important to remember and that is why I'm going to look at a white car because I'm not going to keep this white car even for a day. I'm going to directly take the car and go to a vinyl application service and spice it up with a gorgeous color. I haven't decided the color, I'll do another video on that. So this chunk of change, nearly $30,000 that I've saved, I can use to apply vinyl as a wrap. The wrap vinyl is probably about 6,000 Australian dollars if you want to get a good quality Avery Denison or something similar. And then I can use uh, that money for getting a full self-driving at 10,100 Australian dollars. Uh, so it is not an extra 10,100 that I have to add after the 111,000 I have to when I get a red uh, performance model Y. And I can still do an acceleration boost. I know it will not be as good as the performance model Y. I will not be getting a 21 inches wheel. Also, I can change that after the fact. And I will not get the performance benefits like the Uber turbine wheels or the track mode. And I'm really not going to use track mode in not more than one instance in the entirety of me driving the car or probably few instances in all if I go for some sort of track event. So in this case, I feel that the Model Y Performance Long Range is a great buy. I know this is not going to be the LFV battery, it still will be the NCA battery, but I'm okay with that. And that is my decision. I am going to change my Tesla Model Y Performance to a long range Tesla Model Y in white with 19 inches. And then I'm going to spice it up with adding a vinyl wrap. I'm going to change the wheels to uh, an unplugged performance wheels if possible and then I'm going to add the spoilers and a few other DIY improvements like automatic frunk, automatic presenting doors. I had done all this in my Tesla Model 3 as well and there are uh, video links in my playlist. You can check them out in the description of this video too. So that is where I'm standing. Tesla Model Y Performance Red is going and it's giving way to a white Tesla Model Y long range with 19 inches Gemini wheels and I'm going to use that chunk of change to do some spicing up. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was useful. Hope this helped you make a decision to either upgrade, downgrade or change or maybe order a Tesla Model Y of your own right now. Now if you want to buy a sexy of your own, an S3 X or Y, it'll be great if you can use my referral code the link is in the description of this video or you can actually scan this QR code and that will give you my link as well. Do consider using that. Both of us will get some credits as well. So that is something I would really love uh, if you can use that. If you want to hire a tester of your own, you can use the link in the description to hire my Tesla Model 3 X Canberra and enjoy that Model 3. It's a standard range plus before you buy a Tesla of your own. And when you're going to Tesla, buy a Tesla, do use my referral code as well. I'll see you guys in another interesting video very soon. Until then, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong signing off. Peace.